Hello and welcome to this video in which we will discuss some of the fundamental concepts associated with hypothesis testing. The idea behind hypothesis testing is this. I have a population. This population may be a collection of objects, people, or something else about which I would like to learn something. From this population, I randomly select members and get measurements. These measurements are what we call a sample. And the idea behind hypothesis testing is we want to make decisions about the population and actually more specifically about parameters associated with the population from the data in the sample. One possible parameter that I might be interested in is the mean of an attribute of the population. Typically, we represent means with mu. So, for example, I may use hypothesis testing to determine whether or not sensors that I manufacture have a mean time to fail that is greater than some threshold. A hypothesis test is a test between two hypotheses, and a hypothesis is a statement about a parameter of a population. So, for example, I might have hypothesis 0 to be the hypothesis that the mean of my population is equal to some value which I typically denote as mu0. The alternate hypothesis would be, for example, that the mean of the population is not equal to this value. This hypothesis is my null hypothesis. This hypothesis is typically called the alternate hypothesis and my hypothesis test will generally be to look at the data and determine whether or not they provide enough evidence for me to reject the null hypothesis as being false. This hypothesis test, because I am determining whether or not the mean is equal or not equal to a particular value, is called a two-sided test. The reason it is called a two-sided test is because the alternate hypothesis is that the actual population mean is larger than or smaller than mu0. As you can imagine, I can also have one-sided tests. A one-sided test might be that the actual population mean is less than mu0. This would be a lower one-sided test. Or you can also imagine that I might look at the case where I have a one-sided test where I'm testing whether or not the population mean is greater than mu0. So this would be an upper one-sided test. So if I consider the example of collecting sensor failure times to determine what the average failure time of a population is, I might structure it as a two-sided test. That is, I might want to know is the population average failure time 100 hours? Or I might want to know, is the average sensor failure time less than 100 hours? Or again, I might want to know, is the average sensor failure time greater than 100 hours? So we choose the type of test we're going to use based on the question we're asking. All of the hypothesis tests that we've talked about will end up having similar structure, but details about how we actually determine whether or not to reject the null hypothesis will depend on whether it's a two-sided, a one-sided lower, or a one-sided upper test. So that concludes this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Thanks for watching.